Hey guys, got some really cool books from a dollar sale. Let's see what I picked up today. All right, let's start with these two. G.I. Joe, starring Snake Eyes and, and Transformers. It's issue 139. You know, this is toward the end of the series. You know, they're kind of low print run. It's got a cool cover of Megatron. So here's these for a buck a piece. I think they're worth picking up. All right, we got Fantastic Four number 110. And this has a, I believe the first cover appearance of Agatha Harkness. This isn't mint condition, obviously, but it's still, for a buck, worth picking up. Captain Carter, number one, you know, from the Marvel What If series. For a buck, I'll get that all day long. Iron Cat, number one, you got, you know, Black Cat in her iron armor. Kind of a neat thing. And we got What If the Alien... What if number four? What if the alien costume had possessed uh, Spider-Man? And in, in this issue, we have, I believe, also the Hulk and Thor being possessed by the symbiote, um, too. So, kind of a cool first appearance. But yeah, Spectacular Spider-Man, or Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 94. And this is the first appearance of Jonathan Owen, who later on becomes a spot. And if you've seen the Across the Spider-Verse movie, you know who spot is. The Amazing Spider-Man number 10 annual, and this is the first appearance of the Human Spider. Pretty cool Spider-Man villain. All right, we got the Edge of Spider-Verse, second series, and I believe it's the first appearance of the Night Spider. I love buying Spider-Man first appearances. The Amazing Spider-Man number 89, bought this because this is a cool, I guess, silver bronze age issue right here. For a buck, I'll buy them all day long. X-Men number 183, cool Colossus Juggernaut battle cover, had to get it. The Age of Ultron, first series number 10. Now this is the first appearance of Angela, or first cameo appearance of Angela in the Marvel Universe from the Spawn Universe. You ever see this book? I think it's a good spec. You got Mary with Children number 1. Got a classic Bundy family cover right here. And we have Married Children number one. Just a typical, this is a Kelly Bundy cover right here. Dinosaurs Attack number one. I bought this because of the cover and that's the reason why I bought it. Fright Night number nine. This is, I believe, a variant cover. Evil Ed, if you've seen the movie, you know who Evil Ed is. Kind of a cult classic movie, so when I saw this cover, I had to get it. Teen Confessions, number 91, this is Charlton. And this is number 58, Charlton. These are worth picking up, too. These are kind of fun cover books. Batman vs. Predator, number one. Kind of a, I think this is the first I think this is the first like superhero versus predator comic. So this one was really popular years ago. So whenever I see him for a buck, I still pick him up. We got Big Trouble in Little China and Escape from New York. You got two cool characters. You got uh, Snake Plissken and Jack Burton. You gotta see both movies too. If you haven't seen them, you gotta see them. Then we have this book here. This is Nemesis issue two. Um, I'm trying to make another set. This is probably one of my favorite reads. If you ever want to, if you ever want to know what Bat, evil Batman looks like, here's the character right here, Nemesis. This is an insane read. Archie 601. Um, this is where I believe Veronica marries Archie. Now, I didn't buy it for that reason. This book has, an, inside the front cover, there's a picture of Cad Bane. Just kind of qualifies as his first... Not his first appearance, but like maybe his first time you see him in comics. So this is a cool book to get if you're a Star Wars fan. You got Married Children, number three. I got two copies. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And this is where they kind of homage or homage the first Star Wars movie on the cover. Classic Bundy cover. And this book goes for a lot of money, by the way. I thought it was like a dollar, two dollar book. And I looked it up. This book goes for about 20 to 40 bucks. So if you see this one for a buck, you got to get it. We got Darth Vader 7. This is the first appearance of 
not the Inquisitors in general, but the first appearance of the Tenth Brother Inquisitor. Uh, issue six is the first appearance of the Inquisitors in general. And I believe it's also the first full appearance of the Grand Inquisitor. Star Wars The Force Awakens number four. We have Rey here, and you see her lightsaber. And in the silhouette here, you'll see this is the first appearance in silhouette of the Knights of Ren. Star Wars number 43. And this is the uh, first cover and, and um, first appearance of Lando Calrissian, an icon iconic Star Wars character. We got Return of the Jedi number two. And this is the first in comic appearance of Emperor Palpatine. This is Battlestar Galactica number 23. And the reason why I got this book is because it's the, it says right here, the last issue. So if you see this one for a buck, last issues are always worth picking up. Beavis and Butthead number nine. If I see Beavis and Butthead comics for a buck, I always buy them. And this one is my controversial pick of the day. This is Super Pro number six. This one is controversial. This one depicts, I guess, Native American characters and kind of like a negative stereotype. This book here, I believe, was recalled. So if you see this one for a buck, get it.